Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So in our last video, we talked about how we can map data similar to twin fielding in CPQ, but in Revenue Cloud from the product to the quote line. And so today we're going to be talking about how we can keep going and map from the quote line to the order product. And so if you haven't checked out our last video, make sure to go check that out. But if you do just need to map from the quote line to the order product, this is the video that can show you how to do that. So let's jump in. All right, so in order to get from the quote line to the order product, we need to map through the sales transaction item node within the sales transaction context definition. And so similar to the process that we took to get from the product to the quote line, um, but we do only need one node in order to do that. And so um, we're gonna walk through this process within Salesforce. So we're going to come to Salesforce, make sure you have the field set up on the quote line and the order product that you want to map. Note that in my example here for installation date, they do have the same API names, but you do not need to have them have the same API names. So uh, another great uh, great advantage of Riffin Cloud. And so let's jump over to context definitions. You're going to go to your context definition that's extending the sales transaction context, context definition. And we're going to go to the map data tab. Now, if you're following from the last video where we, where we set up the mapping from the product to the quote line, then you already have the attributes set up on the sales transaction item node, and you already have the mapping from the mapping between the sales transaction item to the quote line. And so that makes it a little bit easier. But if you're starting here, then I'll walk you through how to do that. So on this, you're going to click edit next next again and you're going to go to the sales transaction item node and make an attribute and so uh, let's go sales transaction item and i already made the oh, it's not clicked in on it there it is the sales transaction item and i have the installation date attribute once you have the attribute set up for input and output make sure the data type is correct Click next and you're going to again click on sales transaction item and find the attribute that you created and create a tag. All right. Once that's done, then you're going to set up the mapping from quote line to sales transaction item. Again, if you followed this process, you already did this when you set up the mapping from sales transaction item to quote line. And so you don't need to do this process again, but that is done on the quote entities mapping where you can click edit map and then search for it to make it easier for you and set up the mapping from the sales transaction item attribute to the quote line item field and once that's done you can come back and you have the mapping set up from quote line to sales transaction item now we need to go from sales transaction item to order product and we can do that on the order entities mapping. So in the order entities mapping, map the sales transaction item attribute that you created to the order item field that you created. And that sets up that mapping there. So now that you've correctly set up the quote line to the sales transaction item to the order product, let's go ahead and test in Salesforce. So we're going to go back to this quote. And since we already have this quote line on the quote, we're going to come here and we're going to create the order. All right, now we'll navigate to the order and look at this order product to make sure it has the installation date set there. So we'll click on this order product and there it is, the installation date mapped over correctly. And so that's all you need to do to be able to map from the quote line to the order product. Let us know if you have any questions and make sure to check out our other videos on Revenue Cloud and Agent Force and how to automate your business. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. 
We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.